welcome back to Motoganda to a very unexpected video but this is kind of breaking news now or not just kind of that is breaking news there has been a Libyan aircraft hijacked this morning which got then diverted to Malta and as far as I know uh, it's currently being placed on the Maltese airport so I'm trying to get kind of close to it trying to get some footage well that's at least how the video started originally or let's say how it was planned to start but unfortunately um, the Maltese authorities were way quicker in response than I thought of course when I tried to get any footage or anywhere close well I couldn't of course everything was already locked down military was everywhere or police was everywhere as you can actually see here But hey, at least I tried. And since it's now three days later, there are even a bit more information about the hijacking. Well, there were two Libyan guys which hijacked the plane on route to uh, within Libya actually. It wasn't even on route to Malta or anywhere else and apparently those two hijackers were supporters of the previous Gaddafi government as it said in the media but well makes kind of sense since there was some footage where they were waving the old Libyan flag of the Gaddafi, Gaddafi government and well they hijacked the plane by what we know by now by fake grenades and fake uh, pistols but obviously by that time it was thought they're real so they were threatening basically to blow up the plane with grenades so far that sounds like a pretty normal hijacking attempt or well can you say normal in the case of hijacking well but so far it sounded like hijacking works uh, but what was really funny and what makes me really doubt about their motives or how serious they were um, when they landed in Malta uh, okay the government said nah we will only negotiate with you if you release at least the women and the kids all right fair enough so they did it and then the government said um, no we will only negotiate with you if you release all your hostages except the crew it was first and ob obviously uh, normally a government doesn't negotiate with terrorists at all but yeah they said okay so we release everyone except the crew so they did and then the government stepped in again well we changed our mind again now we will only negotiate if you release the crew as well and if you give up 
Uh, well, that kind of puts you in a bad position to negotiate anything, of course, if you have given up already, uh, what is there left to negotiate? But anyway, they did it, so as, as I heard from some unofficial sources uh, that even the people walked out or the hostages walked out there kind of relaxed so all in all it sounds like a pretty weird or pretty unprofessional hijacking attempt so by now as far as I know they're obviously <laughs> in prison and waiting for trial being questioned by the police and so on so the usual suspect thingy so let's talk about their motive or basically let's speculate about it a bit course it's not really known yet I mean they refused to give any any answer on that when they were questioned by the police and well what I was reading in the media that they were requesting political asylum in Malta got already rejected by the Maltese government as false so sorry media you were publishing basically fake news again and even what was said in the beginning that they were requesting uh, who was it Gaddafi's son to be released from prison well to me that doesn't sound logic of course I mean even if the Maltese government would have wanted to do as they requested as far as I know Gaddafi's son is not imprisoned in Malta so the Maltese government cannot force another country to release someone in my opinion it would make sense that it didn't come, come for political asylum but asylum in general I mean, if you have the choice uh, either to go on one of those uh, human trafficker boats and maybe you drown in the Mediterranean Sea or you have the choice to hijack a plane well, most probably I would go for the second choice as well and hijack a plane. I mean, at least you won't drown and... I mean, I've not been to Maltese jail yet, but... I guess it might be more comfortable than living in Libya right now. If they would have been true with... Yeah, we're gonna blow this plane up and we're gonna again execute the hostages uh, why then they went in with fake weapons and fake grenades so we are talking about Libya here and I guess there it's rather easy to get actual weapons or maybe even actual grenades and I even think it's easier to get real ones than fake ones over there so they must have chosen the fake ones for some reason I mean I'm, I'm not saying that this makes it anyhow better or anything like that but I'm pretty sure they didn't plan to hurt anyone at all I mean regardless if they used fake or real weapons I think they should face trial and they should face quite a long time in prison of course 
Yeah, I think they're terrorists. I mean, hijacking a plane, regardless for what reason, is terrorism. Or at least, how you call it, air piracy maybe? I don't know. But it's a bad thing, definitely. I, I even think if they ask for asylum, I even think in that case they should be rejected, of course. Come on, giving asylum to criminals? I don't think that's a good idea. Except, actually except one thing. I mean, the Human Rights Convention says you have to give them asylum if they face in their home country uh, either unfair trial or death sentence. Even if they don't face a uh, death penalty what, for what they did, I'm kind of sure they won't have a nice life or a safe life anymore if they return. So in that case, well, most probably, even if I don't like the idea, most probably we have to grant them asylum. But hey, maybe we will find out about that in a later video. Of course, I, I did some, well, strange request or funny request. I don't know. Uh, basically, I requested an interview with them, an official interview. And actually, that gave already kind of a backlash on Twitter. And some people think, well, they're bad guys, they're terrorists. Well, those people are right, but uh, they further think that such people shouldn't have the right to be interviewed or shouldn't get any, how, how they said it, uh, shouldn't get any airtime, free airtime, they even said it. And I basically disagree there, of course, well, there were a lot of terrorists already interviewed by mainstream media, so why not interviewing them as well? Might even introduce an all-new format on Motoganda, kind of an interview series or something. But well, let's be honest there, the chance that I will be granted an interview with them are, I would say, quite close to zero. But anyway, if I don't try, I won't ever know. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did so, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it as usual with all of your friends. And if you have any ideas or any opinion if I should go for the interview or not, just put it down there in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe. I mean, my subscribers increased recently, which is quite a good thing, but are still below 50 at the moment. So quite a small audience, to be honest. But anyway, I see you in the next video.